I strongly believe these prove that gaming headphones can be more than just gaming headphones. These prove companies should aspire to make great headphones, period. Sometimes gaming headphones will sound great with games and not great with music or movies. These are the headphones to beat and I'm going to tell you why. These don't mess around. If you need it, these have it. I thought I was going to need a USB-C to USB-A dongle and I was happily surprised. These come with the headphones, USB-C wireless dongle, a 5 pole to 4 pole 3.5 millimeter headphone wire which supports mic usage, USB-A to female C extender, USB-A to C charging wire. So the side plates come off. Does that count as something? I don't know. You decide. I feel like this package is exactly how it should be. No unnecessary inclusions but it has all the important things you could think of that you would need. I don't feel like I'm missing anything with this package. Maybe seeing these were wireless it would make more sense to have a carrying bag but I don't think it needed it. I never end up using the bags because I never take them out of my house. However with these having bluetooth and can be used wireless with the Nintendo Switch I could see people traveling with these. These have a very specific and recognizable style. It's the Steel Series way. You see them, you know them. Even people that don't follow much te gaming tech right away recognize Steel Series headphones. However, they did change the design with this iteration, but not too much, just enough to make them feel fresh and new, you know what I mean? But I really think that the new design is amazing. It's probably my favorite looking headset. As you can see, they have a two band design, a hard plastic top band with a cushiony fabric adjustable headband with two notches so you can move it up and down. There's also the telescoping arms on each ear cup for more micro adjustments. Each ear cup is on a swivel with an arm like part that attaches more towards the side of the ear cup which is the only spot I worry about structural integrity. They wiggle just a little bit. However these are built incredibly well. The plastic feels kind of thick and stiff. This ear cups aren't super deep but they're very soft with a sports like material and they got a leather lining on the inside locking that sound. These have a retractable microphone on a gooseneck with a light at the end so if you're muted you can see it in front of you. And both ear cups are loaded with with switches so let's go over them really fast. The left ear cup has mute switch with red lining to indicate muting, the volume slider and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The right ear cup has power switch with a green light, Bluetooth switch with a blue light, game chat slider and a USB-C port for both charging and USB wired connection on PC. The, this headset feels incredibly built with a very intuitive design. They balance weight and design very well. They feel very intuitively designed. I like the materials they use. It feels very premium, very sturdy, and I feel like these would last a very long time. So I'm happy to say that these are built very well. So comfort wise, I don't find many headphones that I can sit here and say, Ooh, they're uncomfortable. But these, however, I can say are very comfortable. The clamping force is on a lighter side of medium. They're only at a weight of 325 grams. And with that great headband, it causes no pressure on the crown. The ear cups aren't deep, like I said, and there's no cushion inside the cup. My ears do touch the plastic of the driver, but it hasn't really been much of an issue. They're very adjustable between the headband and the telescoping arms, where I feel like they could fit the biggest watermelon head and the smallest baseball sized head like mine. These are a high grade for comfort for me. I'd say these are like a 9 out of 10 in comfort. I just think the soft sports material on the skin and plush ear cups is a great mix with that light to medium clamping force. All comes together well and super adjustable headband and lightweight helps distribute everything evenly. I found no pressure points while wearing these. So there's a lot of specs to go over and I feel like the best way to go about talking about it is just to read off everything to you that I thought was important for you to know. So there's a 40 millimeter neodymium driver with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 22 kilohertz. Supports 360 audio retractable clearcast gen 2 microphone a mic response of 100 to 6500 kilohertz side tone simultaneous bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz wireless these work on all consoles pc ps4 ps5 xbox switch even mobile on bluetooth these have a 38 hour battery life with 2.4 gigahertz 26 hours with bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz enabled 15 minutes charge for six hours of playtime supports both sonar and steel series gg software 10 band eq 4 eq presets and all settings that you set in the GG software will be saved to the headphones and will work on other platforms. Now these cannot game over Bluetooth. The latency is way too high. You can feel, hear, and see the delay between input and sound. I tried mobile games and emulation. However, that's not so much a problem with watching videos or listening to music. It's less noticeable when you're not doing inputs. So no, I don't recommend these for gaming over Bluetooth, but we'll talk about it later. I do recommend Bluetooth in other ways. Now, that mic test.
So now you're listening to the Steel Series Arctis Nova 7s, and this is what the mic sounds like. I think it's like kind of middle of the road. It's got a little bit of static going on, but I think it sounds pretty freaking good. But hey, if you are enjoying this video, definitely slap a like on it. It helps out a ton, pushes me on the algorithm, and I greatly appreciate it. And also, if you're interested in anything we talk about today, I do have no extra cost affiliate links down below. So check those out if you're interested. Anyway, back to the video. And that's how the microphone sounds. It's above average. Now this is the most important part, the sound quality. I always went on to say that wireless headphones don't sound as good as wired headphones, but it does not mean a wireless headphone can't sound good. I will be separating sound into two sections, gaming and double duty. But let's talk about gaming first. The clarity is top tier. Like these actually go toe to toe with my bare dynamics in a lot of cases, to which really surprised me. The soundstage is pretty wide, not the widest I've heard, but it is quite wide. It feels very spacious, very open. I really like that. The distance awareness is quite good. I actually specifically bought Call of Duty because I want to be able to test headphones with Call of Duty because that seems to be the main game that most people play. And let me tell you, these excel with Call of Duty. I also tested these with several immersive titles. The bass is punchy but clean. It's not bloated. It's very natural and very quick. It hits and it stops. And these are not afraid to give you the high-end clarity either. And it's not shrill or piercing. It's crisp, it's clean, and it's nice. The gunshots, they sound powerful the impact is there they sound meaty you can hear the weight behind your gunshots and i really think steel series went out of the way to tune these headphones so footsteps were more prominent because you can literally hear footsteps in any given situation whether there's a lot of gunshots explosions all of that happening at once you can still hear those footsteps there was never a moment i questioned the location of another player in cod i knew whether they were far or close and if they were in front or behind games like god of war the environments felt alive and immersive with distance animals noises world noises or my feet on the snow grass concrete sometimes music during gameplay can either get muddy and distorted or just completely destroyed by the in-game sounds that doesn't happen here the music was well separated from the rest of the game even at higher volume i was constantly impressed by these now how do these do a double duty now this is why i say these are the headphones to beat because they don't just sound good with games they sound good with everything i thoroughly enjoyed my time with these no matter what i was doing these are not perfect though bands like slipknot it had a bit of trouble now it could have been the mix of the song there's certain sounds because there's nine members that you hear that i felt were a little bit veiled in some circumstances now instrument separation in most cases is great a song i used to test is billy eilish happier than ever because the second half of the song on not great headphones all just distorts and blends together there's several layers of vocals and distorted guitars bass and you can hear everything with these with very little to no unintentional distortion so i watched some movies and i also watched a little bit of anime with these and honestly i was very impressed and always satisfied with the sound that i was getting so honestly i can easily recommend these for all things gaming on pc competitive gaming story-based console gaming movie watching over bluetooth music listening over 2.4 gigahertz these are incredibly versatile i think if someone wants the headset to do it all this could be their answer and they're not super gamer looking so they wouldn't be out of place in like a public setting i have affiliate links down below keeps the channel alive use them if you want to don't if you don't want to and but if you're interested in a video that these compare to the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pro, my eight month long review is right here. These step toe to toe with those headphones. So, hey, if you're trying to cross shop, check that out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Peace out.